actually what, what we expect from the parliament and the, the government is to understand that those peoples in the region are eager to, uh, to have a democracy just like the, the democracy in, in the West. Um, I know Saudi Arabia is uh, playing around with, uh, with rhetoric and they, the, uh, ambivalence is, is inherent in the, in the Saudi regime. And they project a picture in the, in the West which is, contradicts the picture inside. طبعا العلاقات السعودية البريطانية يعني شهدت فصلا جديدا في الآونة الأخيرة خصوصا مع زيارة محمد بن سلمان الأخيرة إلى بريطانيا والتي كنا نتوقع أنه بريطانيا تثير بعض الملفات بالغة الحساسية أوضاع حقوق الإنسان في البحرين الاعتقالات العشوائية التي تتم وأيضا الوضع السياسي عموما في البحرين الذي يتطلب يعني ضغطا من الحكومة البريطانية على النظام السعودي الداعم الرئيسي لهذا النظام الوضع في البحرين الوضع في المنطقة عموما ولكن يبدو للأسف بريطانيا المدفوعة بهواجس ما بعد الخروج من البريكسيت هي تتجه إلى إلى الحصول على مكاسب في العلاقة مع السعودية صفقات أسلحة وضع يعني إبرام صفقات تجارية the consequences of what is going on in Yemen is not going to go away by just the end of this uh, war. These are signs of birth defects caused by the neutron uh, uh, enriched bomb that was used in Atan and, uh, and, and uh, Naqam uh, in 2015. We're beginning to have the birth defects a year or two later. So I can't see Britain escaping questions to be answered. And in terms of the 8 million I, I, I was speaking about, we're not making this up. It's a fact. It's going on. 8 million people is a huge number of people to be facing death by starvation. We met today to discuss inst the instability in the Gulf <clears throat> and in particular um, the impact of uh, the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia's policy um, and how that has affected a number of the states in the Gulf. We were interested in the fact that the British government has supported the policy uncritically um, and it has led to no improvement in the human rights situation. In fact, we've had a big deterioration with the humanitarian crisis in Yemen uh, the blockade of Qatar is an affront to the sovereign state and the sovereign people of Qatar. The repression in Bahrain has been deepened and uh, Mohammed bin Salman has supported this. And inside Saudi Arabia itself, despite continued promotion of the idea that a reform is underway, nevertheless, human rights defenders as we speak are being imprisoned and tortured. This, the answer to our questions is very simple. I don't think there is any government within here that would really dare to care about miseries in Yemen or what the heck is happening in Bahrain or what the hell is happening in Qatar. They simply don't care about this. Follow the arms industry, follow the money, and you will see how people are going to be partnering up. As simple as this. Thank you. Of a stand against issues that are happening in the Yemen, in Qatar, in Bahrain, have fueled this anger amongst young people. I think as, as government, you know, um, the duty is to represent what individuals are saying and represent the truth and represent what's happening empirically and to take a stand. I think the fact that it's a coalition of, uh, um, uh, of organizations representing different parts of the region together with British campaigning organizations is also important because we both draw strength from each other.